Hello, it's me Polish Paul VR, and today once again I'm doing the news for you. So let's begin and let's start from uh, Ace Combat VR mode. So what the developers say is that the story in the VR mode gonna be a completely different story than the main storyline. But your VR mode story gonna be as deep and as good as the you know actual story in the game. And as well the game should last you between 12 to 15 hours, which is great. And I think it just justifies the you know purchase of the game for full price. Okay, the next game I want to talk to you about is VR Regatta and this game is like a sailing game. Uh, you can download demo on Steam for free if you own Vive, uh, so have a look. So the main thing what struck me about this game is how relaxing it looks. Uh, so I spoke to the developers and they said that at the moment they focusing on, uh, you know, the Vive release. But they might think about PSVR in the future and they say they watching PSVR closely because it's very important market to them. So obviously they've got some willingness to release this game for PSVR. Obviously it comes from indie studio which, you know, they don't have as big resources as the big fat studios. But they just received some funding from state of Victoria uh, uh, that's in Australia by the way uh, how much I don't know but hopefully it will help them develop the game uh, I gonna leave you the link to their Facebook page and their YouTube channel so check it out you know it's the game worth following because it looks just so relaxing and it looks like a great PSVR experience and as well my dad used to uh, like to sail and he used to take me you know on his uh, sailing boats um, I never got into it but I always like to be on the boat uh, and as well I've been in Navy so I'm used to being at the sea. So I'm really looking forward to this game. And while we're talking about the sea, let me speak to you about Titanic VR experience. I spoke about it in my last week news video, I think. Uh, they gave us an update on development saying they making, uh, you know, main characters in the game, main models. Uh, they just released another update. Uh, they've done the main models. Now they doing the, you know, your uh, second characters, whatever. Uh, so the progress on this game is quite good. Right, and some news on Physius. The game was shown off at a PlayStation E3 event in Rome, in Italy, on 12th of June. Uh, they let some people play the game, you know, and from what I'm hearing, everyone who's played it uh, liked it, and apparently uh, when the Minotaur was coming out, everyone been shitting it, so it looks good. Uh, the game will be releasing this summer, and it will release first on PSVR. Okay, so let me just quickly speak about next week releases. If you live in America, you're gonna get Air Force Special Ops Nightfall uh, for free on June 20th. Uh, you know, free experience, uh, you just doing like a skydiving parachuting. So yeah, so you can do your sky jumps and that, and after you've done it, you're gonna sign up to Air Forces. Uh, because that's what this game is made for, to make you think like, yeah, I want more of that in real life. And next game, Chess Ultra, releasing on 21st of June. Uh, don't know the price, but, uh, you know, I will pick it up. I don't know how to play chess, no clue at all. But I want to do review of it for you, so we see if I'm gonna succeed. Okay, so that's it for today's news. Uh, I've done now. Thanks for sticking around and listening to my voice. Uh, hopefully you understood bits and bobs. Uh, and if you're new to the channel and you first time seeing my face and you like it, then hit like and subscribe. Uh, I'll be very grateful for it. Right, okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for listening and I'll be back.